master template. Uh, I put it together because uh, I do pretty well with math uh, instructional type games. And uh, this one came to me the other day and I'm pretty excited about it. I thought I'd pass it on to you. Uh, pretty basic and very easy to change. Uh, you can see here this is the home screen. And right here on the screen, uh, the user gets to choose uh, which color car they want. And that's easy to alter so that they get different car styles, colors, uh, whatever you want to do. It would also be extremely easy to set it up so they earn different types of racers depending on times and those types of things. And then this Math Racer edition is for... Um, uh, addition so this is what they want to learn or practice so they're threes fours fives whatever all the way through tens so let's say you want to practice your threes and you want a white car you choose both of those and then I click to start and when I do that you can see here the countdown lights for the race will begin and then uh, over here on the right you see the equation that they have to answer and then the buttons that they have to these are the answers the potential answers and then this is the time it takes for the uh, race and then up here is the best score time so this is set up with the accelerometer as well uh, because I've designed it so that you can put obstacles in there so you can see with the accelerometer it would go back and forth and then as um, as I answer the questions the car begins to move and the faster you answer the questions the faster the car will go I, I don't have any obstacles built in here yet uh, but that would be easy for you to add uh, even different cars based upon different levels and you can see, there you go, great job, I won. And you can see it registered the best time for threes of 55 seconds. And then if I go back in here and I click to continue, uh, you'll see the scene reset. I'm back at threes. Um, and let's say I want to do fives now with a blue car. And again, you'll see the countdown. I have a blue car. Um, and you'll see that the best score has set back to zero because now we're doing five. So it holds the best score for each of the different times. So let's see if I can remember my fives here. And again, uh, just trying to get the best score without any obstacles at this point. Um, I think the obstacles will make a big difference in the game. Um, what's great about this game is it's all based upon tables. So uh, to grab these multiple, these uh, the formula right here, it's just going into the tables, and you, these numbers auto assign based upon the table and based upon whatever the user picks. So as you scroll through these numbers, uh, it's picking a different uh, set of cells in the table, and it fills in the automatically fills in the equation and the correct or possible answers. So to go in and set up another math racer for multiplication or subtraction or division is just a matter of going into the tables and entering in uh, those new equations and fields. Uh, you don't get the graphics with this template, uh, but all the functionality you see is in there. Uh, I have it uh, set up for Nook and for the iPad. And uh, I think that's about it. Again, very easy, and I think this could be turned into some great different ideas, and I look forward to see what you're able to do with it. Thanks.